This is Comedy Central, the Edinburgh Fringe. I'm Jamali Maddox, and we're bringing you the best in new comedy. Now, as we all know, the Edinburgh Fringe has been cancelled this year, so we've teamed up. I made a couple phone calls, I put people together. So now we've got Comedy Central and the Edinburgh Fringe. And now what we're going to do is we're going to bring you comedy directly to your home. Just pretend you're in Scotland, all right? Unless you're actually in Scotland, then fuck, I don't know, pretend you're somewhere else, all right? Today's act has been storming the London comedy scene with tales of growing up as a young Muslim woman in the inner city. It's fantastic. I love watching it. Audiences love her. I love her and you're going to love her too. So please give it up for Fatia El Ghori. Hello. Shalom, everybody. Shalom. Shalom. Thank you for coming to the New to Islam meeting. Um, so um, I come from the deep, deep Middle East of Hackney. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got a massive family, guys. I'm um, North African. I've got five brothers and seven sisters. I know, it's big, isn't it? That's Arabian Netflix and chill for you, isn't it? That's how they go back there. So my brothers, I've got uh, Mohammed, Rashid, Dries, Mustafa, Abdesalam. That's my first brother's name. <laughs> so yeah, my, uh, my little brother, his name is <laughs> <laughs> He's a little shit, right? He used to always get us in trouble in school because he wouldn't stop eating bacon, right? <laughs> so my mum would come up the school, have a go at him. He'd turn around, he gives it with, but I like it! <laughs> my mum was like, oh my Allah. <laughs> And then she sent him to Morocco for 35 years. So, yeah. I mean, like, some people lose their PlayStations. We lose our lives, innit? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's how it goes. And there's a lot of perks to wearing a hijab, you know? Like, I'll always find food in it all the time. There'll always be something stuck in here all the time, you know? So, like, I'll be at work and my colleague will be like, um, oh, Fatia, when's lunch? I'm really hungry. And I'm like, here you go, Linda. <laughs> Caring is sharing and all that, innit? <laughs> <laughs> but the other perk of the hijab is like, I'll be walking down the street and there'll be somebody that I don't like, you know, I'm trying to avoid and I see them and I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> 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 so North Africans and Arabs have problems pronouncing the letter P, they can't say it. So instead of the letter P, they replace it with a B, do you know what I mean? So my mum will be like, Fatiha, give me the blate. You know, <laughs> and then like my cousins in Morocco, right? They get, they call me. They're like, Fatiha, when we come to visit, we want to go to Buckingham Palace. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, I don't know where that is, but I will check for you. <laughs> but my dad, he's the worst. He's the worst. He's like, Fatiha, take your brother to the football bitch. <laughs> like, hell, dad? Don't be calling people that. That's bloody rude, isn't it? <laughs> When I was younger, I used to be a bit naughty, innit? And my mum used to say to me, Fatiha, when you grow up, you will never, ever, ever get married. Ever, 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 <laughs> ever. <laughs> and then I grew up, and then I got married, and I got divorced. And, I got married, <laughs> and, I got divorced, <laughs> and the moral of the story is don't ever challenge me, innit? <laughs> so, yeah. That's what you get, innit? So, yeah, so um, I'm single and ready to halal mingle, <laughs> innit? <laughs> and uh, you know, Muslims, we have our own dating apps, right? Like, you've got Tinder, we got Minda, you've got Match.com, we've got Muzmatch, okay? All right? But it's the like different, different um, platforms, but same shit, do you know what I'm saying? Like, do you know what I mean? Like, I had this guy, he messaged me, he goes to me, I am looking for a second wife. <laughs> I will give you 30 pounds a week and a flat. I said to him, 30 pounds a week. I spend that on chocolate. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, seriously. Sometimes um, I get a lot of trouble for wearing a hijab, you know, like, I get men trying to rip it off my head and stuff like that. It happens a lot and stuff, but, you know, don't worry, because they're all dead now, <laughs> aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm a bit like, you know, like a Kinder Egg, you know? If you take the wrapping off, surprise, we're married. <laughs> you didn't expect that, did you? That's what happens when you touch my hijab, innit? Thank you very much. I've been fattier. Thank you so much. Oh. Okay. Okay. Okay.